How's it going guys? I just wanted to uh, stop for a minute and basically throw some video in here and let you guys uh, know about Dangerfield. I had a couple people contact me wondering about what it was like. I've been there three years ago and this is the first time I've been back since. It had been closed for a year and now it's reopened. Most of the improvements appear to be over uh, in the campgrounds. Uh, that said, it's a beautiful lake over in East Texas, just the beginning of East Texas and uh, it's got pine trees all around it. Uh, there's not very many areas where you can fish from the shore if you're fly fishing. If they do have kayaks, they have probably about 11, 12 kayaks and some canoes that I saw for rent. And um, the water's beautiful, of course, very clear. Um, you can see probably six feet down in some places. Uh, what I saw there yesterday, which was Sunday, is that the water levels have dropped enough that um, the habitat for chain pickerel, which is what you're after, if you're going to danger field, you're going for the chain pickerel action. Um, the water has dropped so low that all that grass that those pickerel used to hang out in is gone. It's it's actually out of the water and dead grass. So it's about a looks like about a foot to two feet low, at least one foot low, and that has destroyed their habitat. So there's only one or two places in the entire circumference of the lake that has a little bit of grass on it. And uh, my guess yesterday, he did catch fish on those two areas. He also caught a very nice largemouth. There's lily pads. The water is extraordinarily clear. Um, in the coves and on the points are lily pads. you got to kind of work around those. But uh, the largemouth he caught was over two pounds, and that will go on the books as a record for that lake. Um, what we discovered really, it appears that there's a lack of food for the pickerel and there just don't appear to be as many. For example, when I went uh, there three years ago and roughly a morning of fishing, I probably caught a dozen pickerel. Uh, yesterday I caught, I hooked two and didn't set that hook on that bony mouth of theirs and he caught two and then one largemouth bass and that's all day fishing. I think they're a little more uh, prone to bite during a cloudy day as opposed to a bright sunny day like yesterday, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the habitat is virtually gone. Um, so if you're going there expecting something to be like it was in the past, you might as well forget about it and rethink everything you, you ever thought about Dangerfield. But it's a beautiful place to go, take your family and have a great time. I'll stop. We'll go to some video right here and take a look at uh, some casting from the Diablo and just some video that I shot as well, some still images of my guest. His name is Emmanuel Salas and, and he did pretty good yesterday as far as getting on those fish. The fly you're wanting to take, we tried, I threw everything at him just to see what would happen. The fly that works, bar none, seducer, red in front and white in back, just the classic seducer pattern. So have plenty of those because you might lose one or two on the uh, vegetation and, or get chopped off by a pickerel if you're lucky. But uh, as far as needing any more extraordinary measures for these guys, if you hook them right, they're not gonna, their teeth aren't such that they're going to uh, actually cut your line. If, they, if that happens to you, go ahead and put a little bite tippet on there, maybe 10, 20, 15 pounds monofilament or even flora if you want and and you got them so watch the video and uh... good luck